What's up guys, welcome to the video. Finally gonna get uh, the top cut uh, games from the LPG event in Nottingham. Uh, so today we have top eight and I've got Peter with me. Uh, we'll Hello. be doing the commentary on this. Uh, so let's start. Uh, this so is Androids this and was... Baby. Yes, that was Liam versus Bruno. Yeah. Liam was kind enough to help me organize the whole stuff in there. And Bruno, I was really under, really, I was really impressed. Sorry, <laughs> it's quite late. <laughs> I was really impressed uh, by Bruno's playstyle. Okay. Uh, he's very concentrated on the game. He's very careful with his movement. Uh, he never goes to do any action unless he knows exactly what he wants to do during the turn. Yeah. I think there was a situation during the day that someone made a lot. I think that was Liam. Made he made lots of plays and then forgot to actually do the. Made, so he went through his plays in the head, yes. and then he didn't do the plays. <laughs> I think it was something like that. So yeah. Bruno didn't made that, but yeah. Uh, so it was he. He thought through all the plays. He thought he did them. He did them in his mind, and then he passed and then turn. And then as a point, it was like, doing anything, yeah. is that it? <laughs> um, Bruno is. It was, I don't know if he still is, a magic player. So okay, he yeah. has a lot of a lot of magic players, especially those that play competitive, have that. You need to note everything, all the public information being noted. I started playing myself recently, so lots of good habits from going to magic tournaments. I mean, Liam used to play magic uh, as well. Yeah. Uh, by observing, but uh, when you get competitive and you start observing the magic players, what they do, especially if you go to like PPTQs or things like that. I know it's a different game we're talking about here, but they're still setting up, going through the mulligans. Uh, oh, Bruno drew actually quite bad the two cell pieces and two androids 18, the super combos. Uh, 16, God, not 18, 16. Send them straight back. Mm, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, what I wanted to say is it gives you a lot of good habits on paying attention to the game. Um, so that's why I think Bruno had an edge. Even though he was not playing the best deck, I think he had an edge on the technique. Because he was never missing anything. Yeah, yeah he I mean, he's, always... he's very familiar with androids. So I, I And think... the other thing that... Uh, it's important. Magic teaches you how to properly shuffle. Right. I know it sounds ridiculous, no, but in no, magic you can is. easily get you can easily get screwed on lands. You have either too many or too little. And as you play, it teaches you how to properly randomize your deck. Yeah. Although yeah. in Bruno's case this time around, I think he drew another five drop cells. I think two. Well, or I mean, randomize you. You can still break. Yeah, but, yeah no, I, mean, I, I understand that because uh, what, is, after you play a, a game, after you play a game, uh, your 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 cards like your super combos, your sensor beans, they can easily be clumped together. Your dragon balls. Yeah, dra yeah dragon balls. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I played GBs, and oh yeah, oh, I, I had know the, the worst time ever. Or shuffling a lot, or all the cards stuck. Yeah, just they, they were all just stuck, so you would just brick. Yes. Uh, GBs wanted to draw one, maybe two monsters. Depends if you're playing the Death Tiger. Yeah. Yeah, and... But yeah, oh, let's start into it, so... Yeah. For seeing so... hit gets charged. Of course, these two decks are still uh, relevant, even though we, we have moved uh, into set 5 now. Uh, I think Baby yeah. is still relevant, although not as much as Androids. I think Android's got a bit better yeah. with all the tools that Green got. But Baby is still relevant. And I think Baby is getting a really good promo in the seal defense. Yes. Oh, he attacked with Androids uh, without awakening. Just charged cell, didn't do anything. That's an interesting attack. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Bruno was saying that he wanted to aggro early. That was sort of his play style. Against a leader that's not doing much self awakening, although we can see the critical trunks there. But I think he's thinking of charging it now. Oh, because he has also Vegeta. So he was considering uh, playing Vegeta. He draws yeah. you a card 
and then he could put it he could attack with it and put it under baby and put the four drop Vegeta. Okay, we have speedy surprise attack and we have a use for that five drop cell. He's <laughs> KOing that baby. <laughs> yeah. I mean it was gonna be that or energy, so Yeah, I mean he got rid of a very quick ramp because that baby would be able he was probably thinking that if Vegeta ended up in energy, he either had another baby or he had another Vegeta. Probably, so he would yeah. be able to go into fall drop. And, you know, fall drop on turn two is quite dangerous, especially as a double striker. Yeah. And Bruno would only hit two energy, so he wouldn't be able to sell in retaliation. So Bruno is down to seven and Liam is at six because he took an attack and then he took another life from Trunks now. Oh, that was an unfortunate top deck, a seven drop cell. Go on, crit into. I'm assuming crit into life. Uh, he could I be removing think the trunks. So. He could also I mean, attack the trunks with He got though. another Gohan from that life, though. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Yeah. I think he's going to use the leader to attack over trunks. I think I would start with that rather than attack first with Gohan. Oh, no, because now he got a second Gohan. I think he was checking if he can get another Gohan because then he can awaken. Oh no, he took one damage. So yeah, he wanted to attack with Gohan first, so he could awaken and draw a card while attacking with the Trunks. That's what it is. So the crit hit, and that was Gira. So super combo gone. Very good crit. Indeed. Skill plays there. Yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's one. That's one of the most important skills: drawing what you need. <laughs> not milling my super combos when I played Marseille. Oh yes, and not charging toppers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not making that mistake again. And the free blocker comes down. That's a very interesting interaction because he can't drop the blocker for free while he's unawakened because he's on the Android yes. 17 then. Charging a bean, but then that, you know, he needs he needs a blue energy. I mean, it's it's a blue energy. I've done yeah. that more than once myself. We recently got into um, set five in here and playing the blue deck. I've done that a lot of times just because I needed another blue or I just needed a blue to go into my objections. You do that. Bean is good, but it's, you need it's usually not one. as or... critical if you are not playing against Storm. Yes, but you need one, maybe two beans for majority of the matchups. If you're playing against Storm, you keep all the bins and charge all the objections and whatever else you have. Yeah. Or, you know, if you are playing Storm, then you want to keep yeah, the bean for Yeah, then, then you need it for a totally different reason. <laughs> you need it to kill your <laughs> opponent. <laughs> so the TP Trunks, they're going of uh, Gohan. Gohan already did its role. It took the life. Yeah. It awakened. Bruno is not. Oh. I do like this card. I was playing with Baby um, last week. Someone lent it to me. I really do like this card. This is where you would want the speedy surprise attack because it can uh, KO something that costs three or less, right? Yes, but yeah, you, you need to pitch a card though. Yeah, I know, but still, this is uh, what you want because it can attack. Oh yeah, that that was me doing my mistake that was going on through the whole tournament. I was taught on TCG Con about a different ordering on the counters and things like that. 
and the block is uh, so it was auto uh, i was told that auto resolves first then blocker then counter or then counter the something like that and the whole ship. i was told i was talked out of that but the tournament was ruled in that so now there's a the question right. if is he first taking the life or is Bruno first blocking? Right, to be fair, I, see. I don't recall what was my judge at that, uh, my judgment at that point. But I made sure that I have someone else judging the events from this point onward. I'm just dealing with the organizing it. Yeah, it's quite hard to juggle everything. Yes, I was a one man army that I needed to do the paperwork, I needed to organize it, I needed to run back and forth. And then I needed to judge on top. And I had quite a long break, unfortunately. So this was auto block and negate. That what that's what it was. Auto block and negate. Yes, in that order. Um, so there was some confusion with how the floor rules were um, written down, and on TCG Con that's how it was ruled to be played. Right. Yeah, and I, that I mean, was I heard the there were th disagreements there. Anyway. Yeah, I w that was the last time I've been uh, involved in any organized play. So to my knowledge, that was uh, the last official ruling. Um, so I was going with it. Okay. I mean, in the end, it, it depends on what the head judge says. Yeah, head judge uh, I mean, has it, a right to be wrong as well. In most uh, cases, it doesn't make too much of a difference. But yes, we, we should look to get these things correct. That's why I want to get. That's why I'm getting the dedicated judges on the events. So dig deep goes in. And then we have a negate for the second attack. So he was, uh, Liam was able to awaken. I uh, got two red energy up. He decided to left blue tapped. I think he doesn't have any blue cards to play. I would assume so. But I mean, unless you need two red energy, I would always I, try he and has keep. The Death Ball in hand, which is a really good card. Yeah. Question it is, gives... will he have it in hand for much longer? <laughs> well, he's going to wait for Bruno uh, to play a battle card first. I don't think Bruno has the androids to go for the Cell Train. Yeah, so it was auto resolves first, and then there is the negate. Interesting thing, after uh, Baby flips, he's a Saiyan, so he gets 5k from yes. Unending Awakening. I quite like that. I quite like the leaders that are different in the front and in the back. Okay, yeah. Uh, it, it the adds, adds movie Gogeta leader at the front, it's Goku and Vegeta, and at the flip, it's Gogeta. Yeah. I mean, you've got that for, is it Father, Son? Yeah. Ha, me, ha, me, ha, that one as well. Uh all the wish leaders. <laughs> All the wish leaders, yes. You flip into freezer and suddenly you can use the cards that require you to have a freezer leader. So yeah, uh, it looks like Bruno wasn't able to go for the cell chain. He went into Mira. And the four drop Vegeta was dropped. Ooh. Decided to use a super combo to defend the Vegeta. Wow. Bruno does have another full power energy, which. Which at the moment it's, he would I mean, want. It's just a negate. He he doesn't he doesn't yeah. do too much in this. Matchup. I think he would prefer to have that first turn when he or second turn when he negated to no. Those second, yeah, well, Liam's when the second turn when he negated yeah. the attack, he would prefer to have full power energy there to kill that baby uh, and keep the speedy surprise attack to KO this Vegeta. Uh, 
Androids are down to four. Quite hard to see. Yeah, it is quite hard to see. But they were using the black matte sleeves, and we needed to reduce the brightness to counter the glare. Unfortunately, we do have a, a overhead black screen coming in, so we will be able to block off the light over the table. Good stuff. So there's going to be no more glare. <laughs> and we got a longer arm as well, so we should be able to get a point down view. Yeah. Because right now it's angled a bit. Get another camera, do a life cam. Hmm. Might do. I mean, I'm usually going with a laptop. I have a second webcam there built in. Yeah. So the digging deep goes in. And he used cell to come out of that. And that was the second attack. Oh yeah, so with this attack he only took one life. You can take one or two life. Yeah. And give him five K. So Yeah. I must say it looks quite tough for Bruno. I'm not sure what I make out of that Champa in Bruno's hand. It's not a common inclusion in the Android stack, is it? No, he he played the one of. Um, he said, oh. he he every time he saw it or every time he needed it, he saw it. So it's that's just... a skill. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you draw what you need. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, we had a situation with the big baby, the one that's in energy, the six drop. Yes, yes. Um, Liam was not fully aware how his own card works. So Liam didn't know that the baby can give minus 20k. So the way the baby works is when the opponent plays a battle card, you choose any battle card and give it minus 20k. It doesn't need to be the battle card just played. Uh, and of course, I couldn't tell him that. And I needed to phrase it in a way that he would at some point understand. As long as he was asking me a question, I could not answer. Because <laughs> there was Anilaza being Read played, which card. is barrier. Yes. And he got it finally, but it, I was standing there for a good five minutes. Uh, but then he was surprised at how good the card actually is. <laughs> So double strike twenty k going in. Nothing to remove, but still draws a card. Uh, when it's played. Does look a bit sticky for Bruno right now. It does. I so the all the aggression that went in. I don't think Bruno has any more negates, so. I think he's at two life. Oh no, he's at three life. Never mind. So there's. Is it down to one? Yeah. And I think, yes, Liam is also at three life. Charge like go. Uh, we have a cell chain, but. Oh. That's the power so we've seen... charge, right? Uh, no, this is seven drop. We've seen three five drops and two seven drops already. I'm not sure how many five drops he's playing in his deck. Because I know some people are playing only four three three. I think he's playing four. Okay. Because I know that in the new set, in the set five, uh, it's four four four. Just to make sure you yep. can always hit that. Because it became so crucial with all the Shandron decks. It 
is a big turn here. Does he does he have super combos in hand? Can you see? I don't think he does. I don't think he's seen any super combo in this game. Apart from the one that was crit off. Uh, well, Liam played one and one got crit. Oh, uh, Liam. Sorry, I told you you were talking about Bruno. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Uh, Nothing not totally. from so Li Liam's, so Liam's seen two super combos. He has two more, but I don't think he has them in hand. He does have the death ball. You can see Bruno calculating, thinking how, how this turn is going to play out. What is he going to do? I think he has another SPR cell in hand. Uh, yes, he does. He has... So he's seen Very three five drops and three seven drops before he's seen the androids necessary for the three drop. Because he had the three drops since turn one. But he didn't see the androids. I'm not sure actually Liam has that many cards in hand. He might be like five, six cards in hand. And that's about it. Yeah, I don't think he has that many. But the, I mean, the if he does sell chain now, the five drop will get value because you can remove. Yeah, he will remove the twenty k Vegeta, so he can't go into the big ape. He's going to draw a card, hopefully a super combo, I guess, or a negate, because he's down to one life. He needs the super combos. He has mirror in hand, so he can put Liam down to two cards in hand. Does he have three in drop, though? He has two at the moment. I think he might be attacking with Cell uh, for the double strike to the leader, which is a common practice, and just combo something off. He has two Android 18s. He has Gohan in hand, which is just a combo fodder. Yeah. Or he might do that with a leader. Theoretically, yeah. But, he could do yeah. it with a leader because he has Champa in hand. Yes. If he if he needs if he needs the one drop five k attack, you know the <laughs> the Gohan could work. Well, otherwise, I think Gohan is going to be used as a combo piece just to put yeah, that first card in the most drop. Most likely, most likely. No, he's going straight into the cell. That. <laughs> <the cell. laughs> that was not the cell. There we go. That would have been a very underwhelming chain. <laughs> so yeah, I think Liam had three cards in, uh, six cards in hand. Yeah, so he's dropping three of those. So we have Senzu, we have Death Ball, and I can't make out the last card. I think it might be for seeing hit. Yeah, I think it is hit. So there is an attack. So if there is going to be no combo, I would expect Senzu. But we still need the combo to be able to do... Uh, he still needs the combo to be able to do Mira. Yeah. So... Oh, he's using the 18. So that's 20. I think that's going to be death ball and reducing that cell a bit. Makes sense. So death ball reduces by 15,000. Oh, hang on. Is that two? Oh, okay. So that's 25. So death ball. Well, he can still do Senzu and death ball. That saves him and reduces cell to 15,000. So he would need to combo over uh, with cell to be actually able to hit. But it's going to put him on one card in hand. Unfortunately. Yeah, looking dangerous here because if he does stop this now, the mirror is going to come down, drop him to zero, attack. Oh, yes. 
Oh yes, there is and still then Nero. The, um... He should be aware of that, but on the other hand, if he's not going to stop this, he's going to have a hard time stopping Cell because he's at free life. If he's going to take that one damage, then Bruno is just going to drop his hand on that Cell. It's, uh, it's the same anyway. Yeah, it's a really curious situation. I mean, Bruno needs to win this turn if he has any chance of winning. Yeah, I, I don't he think... He took it. Okay, so he I took it. Good. Well, that way he has more cards to deal with Cell, I guess. Yes. But if Bruno but he drops had... The, he drops the mirror down. Yes, but he doesn't know that Bruno doesn't have super combo. If Bruno had... Oh, Bruno's not dropping... It's, I think Bruno's saving that mirror with the jumper. Uh, possibly as a surprise finisher. The problem is that without combo... Oh, he's comboing. So it's 40. So... Death Ball... Yeah, Death Ball and Senzu are still stopping Cell. Because Death Ball is 25. Because it gives 10k and reduces 15k, yeah. So the leader is, until the end of the battle, 25k. It's like a uh, 10k combo, but also has an effect to give minus 15k to whatever yep. uh, his opponent has. So Cell is down to 15, so it's 25 to 25, and then Sensu puts him on top. Oh, he decided to not use Sensu. <laughs> Complicated calculations. It's a very unusual card, but it's essentially one cost 25 combo. Yeah. If it's a battle with a battle Pretty card. Pretty much. It's really strong. And coincidentally, that's how you stop the Ultra Instinct uh, from U7. You just drop three of those. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was playing against a deck that was and then essentially the... winning on chaining those back to back. There's the Mira. So he's, dropped, so he's got for seeing hit in hand. There we go, the jumper. And does he drop anything else? That should uh, twenty five. Yeah, I mean that should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. He at best he has five k. Bruno does that. If he had the super combo, he would use a super combo. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the, the last oh, card was the cell. Was the <laughs> and the last life was the Android 16, actually. Wow. So, big turn. Big turn there. Right at the end. Yeah. I mean, it all came down that he was finally able to do the cell chain. Yep. And uh, the skill of drawing the single jumper when he needed it. Yes. Well, he was holding it since, I think, turn two. Or yeah. maybe even turn yeah, one. Quite early, yeah. It looked actually a bit clunky in his hand, but then it pulled through. It's something you don't expect, but now Liam is going to be uh, playing with an uh, idea of the Champa still in his head. Of course, the scientists who are going to come in for him to come back from that cell chain. Although, you know, sometimes if, if the Cell player has everything in hand, it doesn't matter what you side in. Yeah, if he doesn't you, draw any you're, dead you're cards... You're not going to have a hand. Yeah. But that's provided he's going to go down to full life. Oh, he's taking out the one-drop Gohans. I just got a glimpse of... Yeah, I mean, they... He kind of needs them to awaken. On the other hand, Liam's deck is... but so... Liam's going to attack. Yes, Liam's deck is aggressive, and the front side of Baby, he needs to attack the leader to draw a card. Yeah. And, I mean, right. the Gohans are just going to die really easily to... To every minus 5k or yeah, uh, basically. whatever else. Put 
put in those barrier blockers. I don't know if he played any actually. The barrier blockers? Which one? Is there a barrier blocker? Uh, in the third four? I don't know. I was, I was just saying barrier blockers are good against baby. Uh, is is there an Android 17? Oh, yeah. The Android blocker? He's maining them. Yeah. Because we've seen them in the main. He charged it. Yeah. And now set 5 has the blue Goku to drop 5k barrier blocker. So, there's a finishing siding. Are you going to Nottingham? For their European tournament. Yes, I will be there. You're going by car? Yes. Yeah. How long drive is it? I think it's around two and a half hours from London. So you, need, you need to go quite early, don't you? Yeah. But at least you don't have a problem of running away to get the last train going from yes. London to London. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I heard I heard the story um, that you it was was it the third place playoff in this tournament? Yeah, because the the final finished in ten minutes, and um, you you had to run off. Yes, and you just left the prize money on the table. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was Jacob playing against uh, Josh. Josh, thank you. Um, yes. <laughs> So all sided there. Now we're waiting. Good Liam, shuffle. mate, you need to get more sleeves. Uh, I think he just bought the basic pack, which is like 50 sleeves. Yeah, yeah, probably. Because I think he just got the brand new sleeves for the tournament. And you, you don't buy a second pack just for 10 sleeves. No, no. Unless you're like me, you buy a stand of uh, sleeves, you open them and put all your trades in them. And then your decks that you're testing... And things like that. Just buying 10 packs or so. And then I have loads of the same yeah, the sleeves. sleeve counts are weird. Yeah. But, um, actually, it's not as bad as, you know, the, the winner sleeves that you get from the tournament kits. Yeah. You get 60. Sleeves. Really? Yeah. I think you get 50. No, 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 you you get sixty, so you need five more. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's arguably that's worse. Really annoying. <laughs> oh, that's really, really. I do like the sleeves that they were giving for leaders. Oh, wait, the the top loaders. top loaders are much the top loaders are much nicer. But in those winner sleeves, oh yeah, there yeah, right, yeah, for yeah. Leaders. yeah, yeah, those sleeves were nice. But the top loaders are much nicer. Yeah. If, Cost. I mean, unless you get one like I got where it's not aligned properly. Uh, I think mine is a bit off as well on the Wish. Yeah. Because I'm using mine on the Shenron. I think on the Wish Orb it's a bit off. I need to check it on the normal Awakened Leader because I think it might be that the Wish Leaders are misplaced a bit. Uh, no, I've seen actually all the ones I've seen from the States, they're all fine. Uh, the Awaken Leader ones, uh, so some people have ones which are fine as well. So my one isn't. My one's a good 20% off. Oh, no, mine is not that bad. Yeah. Someone has a running lag because I can see the table moving. Don't get me wrong, the Dice Cup is a lovely place. I absolutely love the place. But their tables are moving like there is no tomorrow. You need three people to move a table, because otherwise it's uh, falling apart. Oh, this hand looks 
It's a it's a very big shop though, isn't it? Um, I've not I've not been there myself. It's not a, it's not actually a shop. It's a it's a, gaming it's a cafe. cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I Although saw I saw a YouTube it... video actually. Um, some guys went there and did a video there. It was the uh, Dice Tower. They do board games. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, Sorry. no, no. I mean, it, they Sorry, had good brain, shots brain of the shop. I, I kind of so. lost what you just said. Can you repeat? The uh, the, there's a channel on YouTube called the Dice Tower, and okay. they they review board games, and they visited the Dice Cup, and okay. um, there were just quite a few nice shots of the interior and outside as well. It was I, I was surprised to see outside. It was basically two two shop fronts. Um, two quite big shop fronts actually. I mean, they actually have glass at the front and then the back. Yeah. They have like two opposite walls are glass. It's really really nice, and they're next to the bus station as well. Uh, just a fair warning: if you want to pay with card for anything there, uh, you need to have at least ten pounds or five pounds, something like that. But you can buy credit with them. Okay. Like, that's fine. You can top up your credit and then use it uh, throughout the day. I just bought myself a few coffees and sandwiches there. Just paid once and just collected them whenever I wanted. <laughs> Is the food good? Uh, it's decent. I mean, you don't go there for food. Maybe this way around. <laughs> but it's made on the spot as well, which is nice. It's not, That's good. It's not frozen. They will make the, uh, I think, the paninis or something like that, however you want. Sounds good. Uh, and they have, they do coffee, they do tea, they do cold drinks, they do snacks. So it's a general hangout, you know. Uh, if you want a better dinner, you do need to take the few steps into a center of the town, but. Yeah. Well, into right. is just around the corner. Well, yeah, it's like two, three minutes walk. You're in the. Literally, like you have the shops and restaurants on top of each other. Yeah. So. Um... Sorry, let's so, go back, into the back game. Back to this game. Uh, Liam <laughs> has charged two of the four drops, and Bruno is seeing those SPR cells in his opening hand again. So. Unfortunate. Char charging it for the intimidation, as Anthony would say. Yes. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate for Liam to see the four drops in his opening hand. Yeah. It's equivalent of the five drops. You don't really want to draw them because you want to be playing them for cheap with the baby. Mm. Oh, so he brought in Quisis Coercion. I don't think he was main in Quisis Coercion. I think that's the side. It looks like it. I guess against the big cell, you just don't want to risk it, right? Rather yeah, than waste, uh, rather than scary. Yeah, rather than waste multiple cards, because you can never stop it with just one card unless it's in the gate. Yep. Or it's you know after image technique or something. Oh yeah, after image technique gives forty k, doesn't it? <laughs> But that's set five. We don't have set five yet. Yes, yes. There was an attack. Bruno didn't want to take a damage. Which is actually quite an interesting choice. Because normally did. you would think that he wants to go into uh, Awakening to go down to six. Yeah. Especially when he took out the Gohans. Yeah. Oh, but now we can see the super combos in hand. That already looks more scary for Liam. He has another 5 drop in hand, so I guess... I mean, if Liam is going to take life, then the Vegeta is going to go down up to... Oh, he didn't take any life. That's interesting. So he played the Vegeta that can take life, did, decided to not take any. I, I think he's worried about the cell chain. Also, he doesn't want to have too many cards in hand right now. Yeah. Because it's going into turn 3, I guess. Hmm. 
You can see the barrier blocker there in hand. The champa is again. Is in again. I don't know. I've seen that he has another one or two in the side deck. I don't know if he put he any does, Yeah, he sides extras. Mm. I think he sides the second one. And I did not catch if he actually put one in here. Quick plug, you can check out Bruno's deck list. I'll link it in the description. <laughs> Liam's as well, actually. Link both of them. Why not? We're watching both of them, so you can link both of them. As I said, Bruno's thinking three times before he yeah, I, commits I, I, to any action. Oh, even then he withdrew. He doesn't have a three drop, does he? Well, he has the critical ones, the critical yeah, uh, but androids. I, I but think... it, no, he doesn't have the cell. He doesn't have a three drop cell. I think he's worried about showing that. Just stacking the leader. I think he's trying to scare him. Yeah. So if Le Liam's in a position where if he takes this, it's an extra minus if he gets cell chained. Now, if he defends this, it's not optimal. I mean, it's really hard to play against cell chain. Because if you naturally drop your hand, uh, so you're not punished by the cell chain, then suddenly you're punished by critical 17 that keeps on dropping critical 18s on you. Yeah. So, I mean, it, the good ways to use up your hand would be something like Raging Spirit, Sun Gohan, or Objection, or something. Something that helps you in the long term. So, if you ramp high above Cell, then that can be quite tricky for them. And also building board presence as well. Uh, that, that It's kind of less of a neg for you. Hmm. Now, Kefla is... I think there's a tunnel pack or the dash pack Kefla. One or the other. Um, no, that that Kefla's just. I'm not sure actually. I will need to check. <laughs> but he did include few of those in the. Uh, in his deck. Or rather, I think they were sided in. Let me just quickly pull it up. I want to see what it does. Oh, have you seen the new Freezer promo, by the way, that they revealed? Um, no. Gonna say no. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so yes, it's the dashback Kefla. Double strike. Once per turn at the end of the battle after this. Attacks, if you have four less cards in your hand, switch this card to active mode. Oh, so after he's cell chained, he wants to use it for additional aggression. It's essentially double strike dual attacker for four. Right, okay. Forward speed, he comes down. I don't think Liam took life again. Maybe he did. power? Yeah. So full power is down, and I think now we're going to see Forcing Hit coming down. If he took the life, then Forcing Hit coming down is going to stop uh, Cell. Oh, he didn't take the life then, so he's still a 6. Sorry, with the matte black sleeves it's hard to tell. He's thinking about it. I mean, it should be the foreseeing head because he wants to see his, uh, his opponent's hand. Information is power. And then he gets to remove two cards from it. Battle cards, I think, uh, for the turn or two. And now he realizes there's no cell chain. What would you take from this hand, though? 
I think uh, I'll take the Android 17 18. What's Bruno's life? Uh, four? No, not four yet. More than four. If it's not four, count. then yeah, definitely the 17 and the 18. Yeah. It's more than four, though. Um, but those are the biggest threats. You don't want to leave them because they keep on coming back. And we say that next turn he will be able to charge well, the four. Attack. That's interesting. No. I think he thought he about it. Because next turn he would have four energy. So he would be able for two play the Android 17. Attack. And if he ca if he if the attack hit, if he comboed of it, oh there is the cell. But there's no androids yeah, in there's hand. There's no androids. Very good hit. Yes. That was the other reason for the hit as well. Oh, so he is? Oh, on... so he is? No. Uh, he's six. Oh, he just hasn't awakened it's... yet. Yeah. Androids awakened at six, right? Yes. <laughs> he wanted to awaken before charging as well. So that was that was close. He's thinking about charging that free drop cell. Negate is getting important because he has... Not enough life. It's just digging for pieces now. Well, <sighs> he got the Android 18. Oh, so he is under full life. He got second Android 18. Which still doesn't really help him right now. No, it doesn't. Liam took the life. He might have another seeing hit. He decided to go for Android 18. He can, because he can super combo, drop a card. If Liam is going to decide to drop a battle card, yeah. Then Android 18 is going to be live. He can pay one green to get rid of hit. Oh no, he can't. That's three or less. Sorry. Android 18 KOs three or less, not four or less. Right, right. What does it think? Oh, four Lavender. or less would be ridiculous. Lavender uh, KOs f uh, four or less when it attacks. Lavender doesn't come down for two. He does come down for two. Lavender is a two drop. Lavender's a two drop? Yes. But you need to have uh, another two of the danger. Oh, okay. And he's only 10k. Is the Universe 9 card? So he decided to drop the. Trunks. Okay, so Liam is down to four life. I think Bruno did not read his card properly. <laughs> <laughs> because he was thinking of doing exactly what I was saying until I remembered that it's three or less. Quite sure it's three or less. No, let's have a look. That's set four, right? No, set three. It wasn't had androids in them. Uh, quick check. Three or less, yeah. Oh, it needs to uh, send a battle card with cost four or more. Oh, that's where okay, yeah, yeah. that's where the confusion is. Because they need to send the battle card to a specific cost. It did send the. He sent the uh, trunks. One drop. Yeah, but the baby baby was dropped with critical. Oh the right, yes, baby. of course, yeah. The brother's going all in here. I mean, he he has denied three cards already. So two dropping but from Liam, hand and one Liam crit. holds seven cards in hand. And he only used one super combo. I 
I mean, I doubt he's going for Champa here, right? He might go for Super Combo to drop something. Oh no, he decides not to. Oh, he wants to uh, force... Wait, what? Oh no, he dropped two cards. They were just stuck together? No. He only dropped Kefla. Oh, yeah, uh, it was a combo. Yes, but it was 15k attacking for 10k. He didn't awaken yet. Oh, right, yeah, of course. And that was a mess. That's why we need people watching it live and not running around <laughs> and doing stuff. <laughs> it could be two stuck together. Possibly. Antti and I had that issue in Nathan's game. Oh, really? Um, yeah, it was against Baby, and I think they used Unending Awakening when Baby wasn't um, awakened yet. Ah. But it, it looked like the Baby player only dropped one card to combo, but it was actually two. They were just stacked on top. Okay. So he played the Vegeta, drew a card, and tapped the energy. He doesn't have any more 4-drop Vegeta, so his 1-drop babies are dead. Yeah, he's just counting. He has 3 in the energy and he dropped another one with critical. Wow. This baby actually can't search anything, I think. Unless it, he puts baby under baby, and then he can put the promo baby, the free drop. But he doesn't have another baby on board. I mean, if, if Liam had the right cards right now, it would be a very strong turn. But unfortunately, as you said, yeah, a lot of his cards are already out of commission. I was surprised that he actually played that baby. Maybe it was heat of the moment thing. You see, oh, I can... I can make this play and then you realize, oh, hang on, they're all gone. I've done that before. I'm thinking, no, I know oh, I can make certain be. plays and then I check my drop and it's no, like, no, oh, no. my I, unyielding I know what gone. it might be. It's because uh, he's awakened, right? When he attacks, yes. he needs to choose two battle cards and they uh, one his and one his opponent and they lose 10k. Oh, right. I see. So he's using baby as a fodder, I think. I would imagine. Oh, he's going. If he's going to use it as a combo power, then I don't understand. So it looks like he wants to use Vegeta as a combo fodder. No, there's a Sanzu. And a super combo. Okay, so Bruno's at free life, I think. Is he using it as combo? He's not. So if, if he's using it, yeah, so that was a misplay. Yeah. Okay. That's what, 35? 15. No, it's 30. Because the Vegeta is base 10. Okay. 30. So it's Vegeta, Senzu, the one gear, and maybe. That way, Vegeta is going uh, because of sense of Vegeta is going to survive uh, the baby's skill. Yes. Took that. Quite sure he's down to two. Oh, this block doesn't have barrier. My bad. Oh, Vegeta died. Okay. I think he forgot that he put Senzu on it. Because Senzu gives an additional 5,000. Yeah, and they yeah. both, it's both not, effects. It, yeah, it's not 5 combo, it actually yeah, increases. They, both effects were out at the same time. So he would be back to 10,000 at the end of the turn. hundred seventeen is was going down to 10,000. TP trunks. I like 
I like the fact that this card still sees play. It's good. <laughs> I, I think it's good. I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> no, DP Tranks is good. It's really low cost. You don't need to pay. It fixes your draw. It has enough attack to hit the Awakened Leader. Gives you information as well. Yes. He still I has mean, all I... his energy available. I mean, I... I think uh, people are favoring um, the Supreme 5 time for the draw on 5k, which technically is more value than TP Trunks, but I, I think a lot of depending on the deck, I, I, I think most of the time I would prefer the information. Can you take battle cards, right? Uh, no, no, not that one. The um, the pr new promo one. Oh, the one, draw one card and, and give 5k. 5k, yeah. The same as Toa, right? Just for different colors. Because Toa works with green and yellow, and uh, Supreme Kai of Time works with... No, 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 it's a black. Black overall. Yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah. it requires you a certain oh, color. Oh, right, yes, leader. yes, yes, the leader, yeah. Uh, uh, Kai of Time works with blue and... Burnt green, I think. And then red and yellow is for the other one, or something like that. Uh, red and blue for like oh, sky. Red and blue. Coming so, in with the crit. I think rather than anything else, it's going in because it's crit. Yeah, there was a bit of miss sequence by Liam because he should have attacked first with uh, hit, and then he would still have an attacker in form of TP Trunks. So it's 25 critical, and he's on two. Bruno's on two life. Oh, this this Ooh. this really this hurts. Going to hurt. Yeah. Oh, well, there's not another one of those. So. What's the last card in hand? Uh, no clue. Oh, scoop. Oh, he's scooping. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a lightning fast, and it, and he couldn't get him down. Oh, so, uh, he was now at free life after that one hit. So. Because uh, if he was at two life right now. Yeah, lightning fast would kill him. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the first things I noticed is that you can do a foreseeing hit, look at your opponent's hand, get rid of two cards, and then next turn you can go into a lightning fast hit. Yeah. A lot of people were laughing at me when I said that, but it is a legit play. It, it is, yeah. It, it's it's just... Um, has, it, has it ever really come off? It is a legit play. Um, and it's surprising, but once... Yes, but that's the situation. You don't play it, like, on the... Oh, yeah, of course, you, you play it to kill. Yeah. You play it in the uh, side deck, maybe, if you know that you can go aggressive against the deck, or if you're playing against a heavy control deck. Yeah. Because heavy control decks tend to self-damage then usually you can put additional two damage because they feel safe, and then you go hit. Unless you play against Bloodlust Leader, then you're screwed. But, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's good on paper, but it's one of those combos that in, in practice it, it hardly ever it's actually comes Mostly with. because the meta is really fast. Yeah. That's I think that's about it. But yeah, uh, that was... Uh, I must say it was an interesting match. The first one was Clutch that won and and then a really good draw for Bruno. Helped mm -hmm. him win the game. Yep. And I mean Liam, second one Liam was very unlucky. Uh, yes, he got all his so. four drops uh between his hand and his life. Yeah. So the one drop babies were doomed to be dead. 
unfortunately, unless yeah, he got two of the one drops to um, use up. Yeah. Um... Then he could go into promo. Maybe the free drop. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, there, there was no cell chain in the second game, actually. So, But uh, yes. Bru Bruno yeah, did cause... have that. There was that turn where Br Bruno got the extra card out of the hand using the yeah. fear of cell chain. Yeah. That was a really good play. That was... I mean, I think in Liam's case, I would do exactly the same, though. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to risk it. You see free open energy. Your opponent didn't play anything. And it's either you add additional card. If you already have three cards in hand that you want to keep, you're not going to risk adding additional card. If you see cards yeah. in hand and you have only two that you know you can, you want to keep, and the rest is iffy, you might want to take that one additional for additional looting, but that's about it. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that was that was the top eight game. Uh, we will have top four and the finals, hopefully soon. Um, life is busy and. As as we said, set five has been released, so we're sort of busy prepping for that as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, please leave a like. I will have the links to both guys' deck profiles in the description, as well as on the Players Guild channel. Um, so Our Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> my Facebook. You know, go on all those, like all those, share all those, and sub for more content. And I will see you guys next time.